right, so the challenge is laid out in front of you. Can you complete it? We're about to find out. Solo challenge, Madden Ultimate Team time. Let's go. people continue to scout players they really don't care as much about body types as they care about those guys who can make people miss run through tackles and gain all that additional run after catch anybody who has that ability they want them on their team seven yards on the play and that'll make it second down they look to throw again that is caught and he is in touchdown chicago their dangerous wide receiver. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And this offense takes the ball down the field and scores on their opening drive. And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. Boy, so they don't get the conversion, but they're going to go right into the onside kick formation. And the hands team for the Raiders able to secure it. Throws it away. 
Second down following the incompletion. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Right, Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. Only a yard on the pickup there, so it leaves him needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. So they've been unable to capitalize on the great field position as of yet. Here's third and nine. Throwing his car on third down. It finds Crabtree for the completion. opening corner and the Raiders add on to their lead. So they've had two drives and he's had the two receiving touchdowns. And how about a game plan where you decide to force feed or feature someone and it works. First two drives as you noted end up in touchdown passes. I think they're going to keep going to him until the defense makes any kind of an adjustment. And a good effort on the return there gets him across the 30 to the 33 yard line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. See it now, player, and understand just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays. Makes me glad I didn't make it in that way. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here and win. Yeah, that's fun, isn't it? And what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Things up a nice second down for them. They'll look to throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Touchdown, Chicago! with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And his guy's now just a two-point conversion away from tying us up. That's a heck of a start to this one for him here in the first quarter. Two receiving touchdowns, just getting the game up. Nowhere to go here, he lost the football. And a good turnover there as his guys will get the football back. It's funny to me because we actually keep a football in the booth with us during games. And I notice you cradling the football. You got it tucked pretty tight speak. with the points of pressure here. And that didn't occur on that play, did it? No, you saying I wouldn't have fumbled if I was You would here? not have fumbled. You got that thing wrapped in tight. That's a really large biceps. So an onside kick fail in the first quarter. Not sure I completely see the logic there. It's not apparent, is it? You almost have to go deeper, I think. And maybe if we try and work along with them and, and speculate a little bit here, they must like they need to steal possessions in this game. And maybe they don't match up possession for possession with the opposite team. They've got to steal right, it and try and gain an advantage. And they tried. They just didn't get it done. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. Well, that's the big drawback to this play. Even if somehow the quarterback pitches it, he's not immune to the big hit. In this case, he kept it and absorbed it anyway. On second down. Midfield just across midfield at the 49. Well, it was second long, now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here because they're moving exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. Second down, sacked by the defense. What type of pressure will they bring here on third? We'll see. We ready? From midfield, it's Carr. And he'll have his man. That's Cooper. He showed us his script. Didn't show us everything now. He said, here's the script for the game. 
I think everything's going according to plan in a big way. Three drives, three touchdowns. Yeah, that's about as good as that is as good as you can do. With Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's our visiting side with a football to begin quarter number two as they'll take over with the ball first and ten. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They'll come out throwing here on first down. He's got Freeman here. It's complete. And it'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it to the right side, and he's got Landry complete. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. 26 yards on the pick up there. And it'll be a Chicago first down. They'll drop the throw. Gets it off to Freeman. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. They'll look to throw again. And he rifles it complete caught by Landry. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Their dangerous wide receiver. An 11-yard touchdown. And his guys have made this a one-score game now. And if you blinked, you probably missed that touchdown drive. It happened in a hurry. I was just putting mustard on my hot dog, and all of a sudden, he's in the end zone. I got to do a better job of paying attention to this quick strike offense. I thought you were going to tell your wife about the hot dogs in the booth thing. I just did, didn't I? Yeah, you did. You did. <laughs> On to the kicking team. Get it? Yes. The onside kick works like a charm. Great job by the kick team there to get the football, but also don't forget about the man that started it, the lonesome kicker himself. I love that you brought him into it because he doesn't get nearly the attention he deserves. Oftentimes, it's only when it's negative. In this case, he created a positive play for his team. second quarter he's already up over 100 yards receiving that and is 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver so he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game on first down he'll drop to throw he's got Freeman here it's complete and he's going to get this inside the 30 they pick up 12 on the play there and they move the chains to throw now on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. And on second and ten now. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he comes back with one complete. 15 yards through the air and a first down. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up. Looking for his tight end lead, and it's intercepted. Hooked off by Khalil Mack. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And that's now the second time he's picked off a pass here in the first half alone. Again, another great read defensively. And you just see him get in the right position to make the play and get his guys to put ball back. They begin the drive with a run by Murray. They'll try to get forward, but he's going to be stopped in his tracks at about the three. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, on that play, the expression, don't blink, you might miss something, certainly applied. That was fast. Defense diagnosed the play, and it was over in a heartbeat. That was second down run for Murray. He lost two there, and it's third down. Back-to-back -back runs that were stacked up. Offensively, now you've got to think to yourself, do we change blocking assignments? Do we change formations? Do we change looks in order to try and get the running game going? Third down. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. 
And frankly, Brandon, we're talking about things I'm not sure we ever thought we'd talk about in the NFL. And a lot of that is the speed at the linebacker position. A lot of these guys in college, they were safeties. They moved them up to outside linebacker to combat the spread offenses. And now we're seeing it in the NFL. Those same guys using their speed to make plays in the backfield, similar to that one. Returnable here from the 38. defeating the Madden Ultimate Team Solo Challenge. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos, follow me on social media, and once again, thanks for watching.